Hi, good evening, Adriana. Good evening, teacher. How are you, honey? Um, I'm fine. You're fine, excellent. Very good, Adriana. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo vamos con esa platform? ¿Ya la terminó? Sí, ya la terminé. Excellent, very good, right? Excellent that you get into the class because today we need to practice quite a lot, right? So let's check. Let's hope somebody else gets into the class. In the meantime, we're going to start. We are in class 15, all right? So we are going to continue with the final exam in today's class, all right? It's going to be pretty amazing. We're going to work in the final exam, but also we're going to work in the platform that we are missing a couple of lectures. So let's check and let me see. Let's wait. There you go. Hi, Fabiola. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Very good, very good, Fabi. <laughs> How are you, Francisco? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you, Francisco? Um, I could not complain. And how are you? I'm pretty good, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. All right, everybody, welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you. It's a pleasure to have you in the classroom. So let's get into the practice time, all right? I was talking to <laughs> I'm sorry. I was talking to Adriana and I told her that today we're going to practice a lot with the use of can and also we're going to work in the final exam, right? Because maybe some of you already finished, but we have some other people that they haven't yet and today we're going to work on that. So let me check. Hmm, we have in this one. Can for ability. Si recuerdan la clase pasada, right? Como íbamos speed, right? Una increíble velocidad. <laughs> no practicamos mucho este speaking. Y yo ahora sí lo vamos a hacer. All right? I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. Recuerden, el can, esta palabrita no se puede pronunciar como can. Right? Se pronuncia como can. In negative, she can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. And they can't sing at all. ¿Qué sucede cuando tenemos questions? Can you sing? Can I sing? Can he sing? Can she sing? Can we sing? Can they sing? All right? And if you want to answer to those questions, all right? Yes, I can. Yes, you can. Yes, he can. No, she can't. No, we can't. And no, they can't. Remember, okay? My advice for you, lo que les puedo aconsejar siempre es que se fijen en el tipo de subject que estamos utilizando, right? ¿Por quién se les preguntan y qué van a utilizar para responder? Lo mismo es para las, las affirmatives, right? No nos confundamos con esos subjects. So let's see. Um, let me go with. Let's have. Adriana, Adriana, tell me the affirmative and negative statements, please. Me va a dar las afirmativas y las negativas del Ken. De las de he y todas esas. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. Leerlas. Yes. Bye. He, you, he can sing very, no. He can ¿Sí? sing very well. Desde aquí, Adriana, I can. I can sing very well. Uh -huh. You? You can, you can sing very well. He can, he can sing very well. She, she can, she can sing at, at all. ¿Cómo? At all. At all. Mm -hmm. um, we can 
seen a roll. They can seen a roll. That's correct, Adriana. Thank you. Let's go with Francisco. Francisco, you ask. And Fabiola, you answer, okay? Recuerde, una pregunta, Fabiola responde. Otra pregunta, Fabiola responde. Okay, one and one. Thank you. Can you sing? Aquí sería eh, primero yes y después ay ah, y ya por último verdad y así sucesivamente con las demás. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, I can. Can I sing? Yes, you can. Can she sing? Yes, he can. Can she sing? No, she can't. Can we sing? No, we can. Can they sing? No, they can't. There you go. Thank you, guys. Now let's get into the other one. Let's get into any other part. I'm going to have Estreberto. Can you please tell me the question and answer that we have over here? Okay. Uh, what can I do? You can see. What can I see? Exactly, that's correct. Thank you, Estreberto. Let's go with Laura Pamela. Laura, you tell me the affirmatives and negative, please. Okay, Miss. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can sing at all. We can sing at all. They can sing all at all there you go excellent laurita thank you let's go with azucena azucena you are going to ask me and i'm gonna answer okay usted me pregunta yo contesto okay miss um uh, las preguntas son las de la derecha verdad yes these ones can you sing na 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 Bye. Can you sing? Yes, I can. Can I sing? Yes, you can. Can he sing? Yes, he can. She can sing. Mm, can she sing? Let's check, Susana. Can she sing? Uh, <laughs> dije otra cosa. <laughs> yes, me dijo el subject primero. <laughs> Lo siento. Don't worry, no se preocupe. <laughs> si can <es> she <laughs> sing? <laughs> uh, no, she can't. Can we sing? No, we can't. Can they sing? Um, no, they can't. All right, there you go. Let me explain you this, guys. All right. Quiero explicarles esto. Es lo que yo creo que ya se los había comentado a ustedes también. En algún TV show o en alguna película que ustedes, porque recuerden que si tienen que trabajar su listening viendo películas en inglés, um, listening to music, all right. Sí, es cierto, no todas las lyrics están escritas correctamente, right? pero más de algunas de esas sí va a estar bien. Lo que les quiero comentar es que van a encontrar ustedes a veces, aquí están, ustedes están aprendiendo gramaticalmente todo como debe de ir, como es, right? the way it is. Pero eh, hay algunas exceptions que native people, que los nativos, sí pueden hacer, right? Más que todo, no es que nosotros no podamos hacerlo, es por la entonación que ellos le brindan a esas exceptions. Como en este caso, nosotros decimos, can he sing? En algún TV show, ustedes pueden llegar a, pueden llegar a ver que dicen, he can sing, right? No lo utilizan gramaticalmente, pero ellos sí pueden hacer esas exceptions, right? Se los digo para que no se vayan a sorprender o piensen, eso no lo vimos, right? No, esas son exceptions que van evolucionando en el language, English language. Es como nosotros, right? Cada vez vamos adaptando o adquiriendo nuevas palabras que en realidad quizás para nosotros no estaban correctas, right? Pero ya con la RAE, pues, dice que sí están correctas. 
So it works the same way. Now, let's continue. Guiding a structure with can and can't. Estreberto, can you please tell me the guiding structure? Me lee la estructura. Okay, uh, two jet plus can or can plus bear plus complement. That's correct, thank you. Now, this is for statements, all right? Esto es como para statements, oraciones, ya sea en afirmativa o en negativa. Let's check the examples. Uh, Francisco, can you please read example number one, my father? My father can sing very well. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you. Pamelita, example number two. They can then. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Fabiola, example number three. Solo una duda, ¿cómo se pronuncia la palabra después de like can? Ah, swim. Swim. Mm -hmm. I can swim and dance, but I can't sing. Mm -hmm. That's correct, thank you. And let me check, Sandrita, number four, please. Fanny. Fanny can speak English, but she can speak French. All right, there you go, thank you. Now, listen, everybody. Here you have some examples of the good use of can and can't, right? And these examples are useful for you because you are understanding in a better way the use of both tenses, right? Well, it's just one tense in affirmative and negative. Now let's move on to the next one. Let's go with the guiding structure for questions with can. Si no dan ahorita, um, Creo que sí vamos a llegar a un momento del practice, ¿ok? Getting a structure for questions with can. Let me check. Azucena, can you please tell me the structure? Ok, Miss. Can plus subject plus verb plus complement plus question mark. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, girl. Now, there you go. In this case, as you have learned before, <clears throat> you need to use the can at the beginning, right? That's the grammatical or the correct way in which we can use can. So let's move on. Let's see what else do we have. We have the guiding examples. Let me check in. Let me see. Adriana, can you please read number one? Number one, um, can you perform at the party? Mm -hmm. Can you perform at the party? Okay, thank you. And let me see, Lourdes, number two. Number two, can you jump high? Excellent, thank you. And let me check Orlando Echeverria, number three. Check. Are you in or are you out? Okay, let's go with Regina, number three, please. Okay, Miss. Hi. Hi, welcome. Thank you. Uh, can Marcos run fast? That's correct. Thank you, Regina. Okay. All right, guys. These are the examples. What are we going to do next? Practice time. Now, this practice, we couldn't finish with this practice last class. That's why we have this review of the use of can, can't, and in questions, right? Let's check uh, the practice time. La Lourdes, can you please tell me the instructions? Hello, Lourdes, are you there? Sorry. <laughs> Don't yeah. worry. Practice time. One, work individually. Two, create one sentences in affirmative with can. Three, create one sentences, one sentences we in negative in negative with can't. Four, create one question yours using can. All right, there you go. Easy peasy for you, right, guys? Because you I was uh, searching in the platform and most of you already finished section uh, five. 
completely, right? So that's great. Let's work on this one. Quiero chequear cómo vamos con ese uso del can, el can y el can as question. All right? Dejo las instructions o quieren que les ponga alguna estructura? You tell me. Porque son tres lo que van a trabajar. Son tres cosas las que van a trabajar. Estructura. Ok, excelente. La de las questions. Eh, la unas que estaban antes de esas, mis. ¿Esta? Eh, no, unas que estaban. Que ah, sí, 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 ajá. Estos, ok. Uh, yes, thank you. Cuando quieran los de las questions, me dicen, all right? Porque también están los examples de las questions. Now listen, you remember that you can make use of other subjects, right? So that you don't stay only with I, you can use she, he, it, we, they, right? Remember, one in affirmative, one in negative, and one in questions. Okay, now let me listen, let me hear Regina. Let's see Regina, tell me your examples. Okay, miss, I can drive very slow. I can't go out tomorrow. Can you speak English very well? Those are correct, excellent. Okay, thank you. Thank you, all right. And let me see. Yes, Fabiola, that's correct. You can have that one. And let me check somebody else who has finished. 
¿Alguien más que ya haya finalizado sus examples, sus ejemplos? Me. Ajá, ok, Esmeralda, tell me. Ok, my sister can cook lasaña. I can play the guitar. Eso es, es mentira, no puedo. <risa> Estaba así de decirle, really? <risa> <That's so cool. risa> eh, she can't dance salsa music. Uh -huh. Can they read in English? Mm -hmm, that's correct. Can they read in English? Very good. Yeah, because actually that's quite an ability, right? Reading and also in English. Excellent, Esmeralda. That's correct. Very good questions and examples. Somebody else? Ahorita les pido porque que me digan sus examples porque ahí estaba chequeando algunos de la platform y pues quiero ver cómo está esto ya eh, de claro. All right. Uh huh. I finished, teacher. Excellent, Laurita. Tell me your examples, please. Um. Okay. My sister can't play soccer. I can sleep in the car. E. Can she cook rice? There you go. Excellent. Very good, Pamela. Thank you. Let me check the chat box. I can play piano. I can't dance, right? Is it true, Fabiola? Can you play piano? Oh, it's just a lie. Me va mejor con los de cuerda. Ah, okay. Pero no puedo bailar, tengo dos pies izquierdos. That doesn't exist, Fabiola. Excellent, thank you. Now, there you go. Um, Somebody else? Hey. What about Ronnie? Uh -huh, Ronnie? Yeah. I can play soccer. Mm -hmm. My brother can't sing. Can you dance? Excellent. Very good, Ronnie. Very good. Qué barbaridad, Ronnie. Ya casi en la, la antepenúltima clase. Hoy sí le escucho nítido el audio. <laughs> All right. Let hey, me see. Hey. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's the truth. Let me see, Sandrita, your turn. Tell me your sentence, your examples. Una sentence me falta, teacher. Ah, ok, ok. Si quiere le damos más tiempo. Miss. Ajá. Uh, era una oración negativa, una oración positiva y una pregunta. Exactly. Me, ok, entonces. Eh, pregunta sería, you can sing in the shower. Hmm, ¿Qué pasó con esa pregunta, Susana? Perdón, perdón, perdón. Ay, siempre lo, lo siento. Can you sing in the shower? Sorry, sorry. That's correct. Excellent. Es que se me mueven las palabras. <laughs> Don't eh, worry. But esa sería una pregunta. Mm -hmm. Ahora una oración. He can't eat eight pupusas. Uh -huh, that's correct. Thank you. Y otra, una... Oración negativa. Mm -hmm. I can't make cat songs. All right. There you go. Excellent. Those are correct, Susana. Thank you. Let's see. Somebody else. Alguien más. All right. Me faltan bastantitos. Solo me han pasado como cuatro students. Or four. Ajá. Uh -huh. Let me check. Voy a empezar a preguntar entonces. What about um, Adriana? Ajá, uh -huh, Adriana, tell me your sentences. Your examples. Um, my, my sister can't cook. I can't ride a bike. Excellent. Thank you, Adriana. ¿Tiene alguna pregunta, Adriana, con el Ken, de las que ha hecho? Mm, me cuesta hacerlas como en, como en negativo. 
las, pero las, los statements en negative. Uh -huh. Sí. All right. ¿En qué parte le cuesta, Adriana? A ver. Vámonos a la estructura. Let's see. Tenemos el subject, Adriana. Usted puede hacer uso de cualquier subject como las que ya hizo uso, right? Eh, también puede hacer uso del my, el your, el his, el her, um, right? Y eso se volvería en su subject. Luego tenemos el can y el can't. Cuando es negative, usted utiliza el can't para referirse a que usted no puede hacer algo. Por ejemplo, I can't, I can't drive. No puedo conducir, right? I can't drive. Entonces usted va a utilizar un verb. En este caso, mi verb sería drive. Yo puedo dejar eh, hasta ahí mi sentence. I can't drive. O puedo ponerle un complement, que sería I can't drive um, standard cards. Right? No puedo manejar estándar. Right? There you go. Algo así sería, Adriana. Eh, ¿Surge otra duda o consulta ahorita? Solamente es. All right. Excellent. Gracias. You're welcome, honey. All right. What about Lourdes? Tell me your sentences. Okay. Number one, you can swim. Number two, Maria can't cook. And three, can he play baseball? Mm -hmm. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. And let's go with Miguel Morales. Miguel, tell me your examples, please. Yo entré un poquito tarde, pero eh, creo que podría ser I can play football. Ajá. My sister can dance very well. Ajá. I can dance. You can't dance. Okay. Right. Very good, excellent. Thank you, sir. And what about Sandrita? Ahora sí, Sandrita. Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. Uh, uh, number one, my mother can cook very good. Uh, my sister can fish because he has allergy. Is correct? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Can your brother play basketball? Mm -hmm. Can your brother uh, play basketball? Excellent, very good. There you go, Sandrita. Thank you. Now, let's keep into consideration, everybody. Let's see this part. Tengamos en cuenta que el can lo utilizamos para abilities, right? Y sí puede ser que ustedes lo, lo escuchen en otros contextos, but most of the time, in general time, is going to be for abilities, right? Now, let me check with the last person, I think it's Estreberto. Okay, Estreberto, tell me your sentence. Okay, uh, number one, uh, she can play piano. Number two, She can, she can sing in the opera. Number three, can you sing in the opera? And number three, can you repeat again? Can you sing in the, at, uh, in at the, the opera. Opera. opera? Yes, that's correct. Those are correct, Roberto. thank you. Now listen, for Fabiola that you asked, Yes, Fabiola, this is the way that you can write down a violin. Claro está, no se pronuncia como violin, se escribe, se escribe así, eh, pero se pronuncia violin, right? There you go. Now, let's go with the next one. You're welcome. Let me go with abilities and talents. Now, talking about abilities, talking about talents, all of us have talents, right? So we just need to find which are the talents that we have. Now, in this case, we have, you had a video in the platform in which they have a uh, four categories, right? Four categories. We have musical or artist, and we have technical or mechanical. And we have, let me check, athletic, athletic, and other, all right? So let's see, in musical and 
in musical or artistic, we have played the violin. And esto no tiene acento, right? Playing the violin and sing English songs, right? I'm missing the S. Sing English songs. That's something related with musical and artists, right? If you know how to sing in more than one, more than one language, you are an artist. <laughs> Let's go with technical or mechanical. We have designed a web page, right? You have fix a car and fix a motorcycle. Se suponía que ustedes tenían que hacer esto, eh, organizarlo en cada una de las categorías, right? Pero era un poquito imposible verlo en el video, so yo tuve que ir pausando. Let's go. And then you have to athletic. We have do gymnastics. Recuerden, aquí no es gymnastics, aquí es gymnastics. Ride a horse and surf. And then you have other, bake a cake, play chess, and tell good jokes. All right? So let's practice with this vocabulary. Let me see, um, Azucena, please tell me the vocabulary for musical or artistic and technical or mechanical. Eh, ok, eh, no sé si me puede repetir cómo se pronuncia violín. Uh, violín. Ok, ok, ok. Uh, musical or artistic. Play the violin. Sing English song. Technical or mechanical. This, this thing. Uh, will pay. Fix a car. Fix a motor, motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you. Design a web page. Very good, Azucena. Let's go with Francisco. Francisco, tell me the vocabulary, please. Musical or artistic. Play the violin. Sing English song. Technical or mechanical. Mm -hmm. Design a web page. Fix a car. Fix a motorcycle. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Ronnie Avalos. Tell me the vocabulary, please. Uh, musical or artist. Play the violin. Sing English song. Technical or me mechanical. The same a web pay. Fix a car. Fix a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Thank you. Let's go with Estreberto Reyes. Tell me this vocabulary, please. Okay. Musical or artistic, play the violin, say English song, technical or, or mechanical, dancing, dancing and wet pay, fix a car, fix a uh, motorcycle. Motorcycle. Mm -hmm. motorcycle. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Estreberto. Let me go with Sandra Yanina. Please tell me the vocabulary. Musical or artistic. Mm -hmm. Play the violin, sing English songs. Technical or mechanical. Design a web page, a web page, piece of car, piece of motorcycle. That's correct, excellent, thank you. Now, let's move on to the next vocabulary part. We have athletic, all right, athletic. Do gymnastics, ride a horse, and surf. And in other, in other, we have bake a cake, play chess, tell good jokes. Now listen, um, tell good jokes for them is an ability, right? <laughs> so, we should take them into account. Let me go with Fabiola. Fabiola, tell me the vocabulary, please. Aquí es, athletic. Athletic. Sí, athletic. Look at my mouth. A ver si se cansa de. Athletic. Athletic. Ay, no, que pero eso está bien rara. O sea, está bien. Bueno, athletic, a ver si. Do gymnastic, ride gymnastics. horse. Gymnastics. Es que están raras. Ride a horse, surf, outers, bake a cake, play chess, tell good jokes. Good, good jokes. Ah, sí, tell good jokes. Ah, jokes. Excelente. 
<laughs> yeah, basically tell good jokes is an ability in the United States, right? Let's go with Laura Pamela, please. Tell me the vocabulary. Okay, athletic, do gymnastic, ride a horse, surf, other, bake a cake, play chess, they got, they tell good jokes. Uh huh, that's correct. Thank you, girl. Esmeralda del Rosario, please tell me the vocabulary. Okay, uh, athletic, do gymnastics, uh, ride a horse, surf, other, uh, bake a cake, play chess, tell good jokes. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Thank you. Let's go with Orlando Echeverria. Tell me the vocabulary. Okay, Miss. Good evening. Good evening. Um, athletic. Do gymnastic. It's okay. Yes. Uh, ride a horse and surf. Mm -hmm. Other. Bake a cake. Play play cheese. Chess. Tell good jokes. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Thank you, sir. Let's go with Regina. Let's see, Regina, tell me the vocabulary. Okay, Miss. Athletic, do gymnastic, ride a horse, surf, other, bake a cake, play chess, tell good jokes. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Excellent. Let's go with Adriana. Jokes. Jokes. <laughs> Ay, let me see. Yo creí que alguien estaba practicando. Athletic. Do... <laughs> okay. A clerk, do you not write a whole sort of their bait? A cake, play chess, they good. How, how okay, jokes, jokes, mm -hmm. jokes. Okay. There you go. All right, now everybody, those are activities that people usually do, all right. They are used to work with them. They are used to uh, have this type of abilities. And for them, those are abilities and they use them quite every day, all right? Now, listen, I had a practice for you using these topics because I really need you to use this vocabulary as a daily basis, right? Eh, tenía una práctica para ustedes porque necesito que utilicen esto como vocabulario diario, all right? Daily basis. Um, pero nos vamos a ir al final exam, right? Si nos queda tiempo, vamos a hacer el practice time. Y si no, junto con el, con el review que tenemos para mañana, no tendríamos que finalizar la actividad. Now, let me go with this one. Now let's listen to this listening part, all right? Now everybody, this part uh, was kind of interesting, right? Because some of you uh, take the past, uh, take the paste really quickly. Um, some others, we were still like figuring out how to do with this. Now, what we're going to do right now is that I know that most of you already finished. Sé que la mayoría ya lo finalizó, all right? Así que ustedes me van a ir ayudando hacer eh, las questions and answers y también en algunas de esas el análisis, right? So let's get into the business. I'm going to play the audio. The first time we're going to play the audio. Please, I'm begging you, listen to the vocabulary, listen to the pronunciation of the people, right? Escuchemos bien cómo ellos hacen las entonaciones, cómo hablan, los números, cómo los pronuncian, right? Todo eso les va a ayudar. Okay, let's pay attention. Page 45. Exercise four, listening. It has just one room. Listen to four people describe their homes. Number the pictures from one to four. One. My family lives on the first floor of a house. Another family lives on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they're not very quiet. Two. My apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. 
It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. Three. I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of an interesting old building. I have a great view of the city, and I'm close to lots of stores and restaurants. Four. My family and I live in an old white house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a big yard. We like it a lot. Now, I'm going to, <clears throat> uh, I'm going to play the audio again, listen carefully, and we are going to stop depending on which, which one or which house are they talking about, right? So let's get started. Page 45, exercise four, listening. It has just one room. Listen to four people describe their homes. Number the pictures from one to four. One. My family lives on the first floor of a house. Another family lives on the second floor. The people on the second floor are nice, but they're not very quiet. So which house could it be that one? ¿Cuál podría ser esa casa? Number four, three, uh, two, or one? Number four. four. Mm -hmm. All right, there you go. Let me check. Ah. There you go, excellent. And let's continue with the audio. Two. My apartment is very small. It has just one room with a very small kitchen. It doesn't have a bedroom, so I sleep on the sofa. <laughs> Even the way she talks, it's depressed. Um, let me see which one is number two. Three. Three. <laughs> Who said tres? Jesus. <laughs> There you go. Let's go. Let's continue. Three. I live in an apartment downtown. It's on the fifth floor of an interesting old building. I have a great view of the city, and I'm close to lots of stores and restaurants. Four. Okay, so number three is which one? Two or one? One. One. <laughs> Let me check. Wait, alguien está escuchando otra cosa. Let's see. Um, so, according to you, number three is number one. Yes. Okay. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, excellent. I love the way you said it, pero no me deja marcarlo. Let me see. Aquí está. Como no, ahí abajo está mi. Y no tengo mis lentes. All right. Excellent. Thank you. All right, let's continue with the following, which is pretty much, we know the answer, right? Number four. Uh -huh, exactly. There you go. Why is this thing playing? Hey, sleep on the sofa. Four. My family and I live in an old white house in the country. The house is a little small, but we have a big yard. We like it a lot. All right, so there you have it. Number two is? Four. All right, excellent, let's submit it. And there you go. Those are the correct ones. Excellent, y'all. Very good job, excellent. No wonder, let's go with part B. Complete the conversation, all right? Now in this one, you have more like a speaking ability, right? Let's get into the business. Let me see, it says instructions, complete the conversation with some or any. And by now we should know how to handle both topics. So let's see, Amanda, um, Amanda, the store doesn't have any fresh salad. Adam, well, we have lots of tomatoes. Let's make, let me check. Aquí se voy a ir preguntando directamente, right? Let me see, Ronnie. ¿Qué puso usted en esta? Oh. Any or some? Oh. 
Okay. Some. Thank you, Esmeralda del Rosario. Amanda, okay, do we have any or some lemon? Uh, any, no recuerdo, pero any, ponga. All right, excellent, thank you. Let's see, um, Regina, Adam, no, we don't need to buy any or some. Uh, uh, no, any. Right. Thank you. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Regina. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. Um, okay. Let me go with uh, Francisco. Amanda, we need some or any letters. Some. All right. Thank you. Uh, Fabiola, Adam. Oh, I don't want. Eh, yo puse any, y sabe, lo puse por eso, pero I don't, porque me acordé de una oración que yo hice y usted me lo explicó. All right, there you go. Thank you, Fabiola. And let's go with Amanda. Then let's get um, some or any. Let me see. Orlando Echeverría. Olives. Jaime, Jaime, lo siento, no, no estaba habilitado mi, mi micrófono. Uh -huh. uh, tomemos algunos uh, sounds. Oh, déjeme ver. Es que no distingo la opción, es la... Uh, solo opción? tenemos dos, any or some, y sería para hablar de las olives. Y recuerde que las olives son las aceitunas, right? So, usualmente... Uh, sounds. Mm -hmm. All right, there you go. Yo sí las cuento. <laughs> All right, excellent, Orlando. Thank you. Let's see. Let me go with Azucena. Adam, no, I don't want. Lo siento, mi. Le escuché cortado. Ah, in this part, honey. Um, no sé. Let me check. Ya le digo, Susana. In this part, no, Adam. Oh, no, Adam. No, I don't want um, sería some or any olives in my fresh salad. Some? Okay, thank you. Porque los escucho dudando. <laughs> let's go with Miguel Morales. The last one, Adam. But let's put um, some co cucumber or any cucumber. Some. All right, there you go. Let's check everybody. Vamos a ver quiénes were right and who were wrong. Now, let's get, let's see. Let me check. Um, quiero preguntarle a Lourdes. Okay, Lourdes. So, why do you think it's wrong to have any in this? Answer. ¿Por qué cree que está malo el any? Porque ahí está mencionando que Adam no necesita comprar eh, no necesita no sé cómo explicar. Lemon. Ajá. Ajá. All right. No está hablando una cantidad específica, right? Okay. Uh -huh. okay. There you go. Ah, no, permítame. No es eso. La mía está mala, ay no. All right, don't worry, Regina. Por eso estamos haciendo el análisis ahorita. Ahorita. Okay. Don't worry. Uh, give me one second, guys. Se me acaba de descargar la computer. Give me one second. Uh -huh, so let's continue. It's clearly that we have to use some, all right? You are not talking, maybe they are talking about lemon juice, all right? Because in those countries, they sell the lemon juice like normal things, right? The same thing for oranges. Ellos en realidad no es como nosotros que decimos, hey, give me three lemons or give me one dollar of lemons, right? No, they ask for some. 
right? Estén nerviosos, tranquilos. All right? Now let's go with Adam. We are talking about olives, all right? So if you get your hand into the olives jar, maybe you will grab um, some olives or any olives. In this case, the correct one is any, all right? Why? ¿Por qué creen que aquí sería any si les estoy diciendo que se puede utilizar some? Si estoy hablando de olives, porque no voy a ir contando cuántas olives, pero específicamente aquí, ¿por qué no puedo poner some? Ya les expliqué esto. ¿Qué tengo aquí? Si yo digo no, I don't, ¿qué es? Affirmative or negative? Negativo. Negativo. Exactly. Negativo. There you go. So, by default, you already know that you must use any, right? Recuerden que el any puede ser para questions, pero definitivamente vamos a utilizarlo cuando estamos en negatives también, right? No lo puedo utilizar en affirmative. So there you go. Now let's submit now. And there you go. All of them are correct. Excellent, guys. Let's move on to the next one. Choose the correct adverb of frequency. Let me get um, instructions. Lower this. Can you please read the instructions? Okay. Read the following sentences and choose the best one. Remember the correct position of the adverse of frequency. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now, if you remember when we were studying this topic, uh, we saw a specific structure, right? That's why I always tell you, uh, please copy the structures because these are going to be useful. So let's check. Let's start with Francisco. Do you think, uh, me hace el favor de leer number one y me dice si está correcta o incorrecta? Correct or incorrect? Never I play soccer on weekends is incorrect. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Thank you. Esmeralda del Rosario, number two. Read it and give me the answer. Okay. The usually study English at night is incorrect. Okay. I'm going to push it. Thank you. Let's go with number three. Uh, let me see. Ronnie, which one do you think it's number three? Uh, sometimes she feels very tired, correct? All right, thank you. Let's go with Miguel Morales, number four. Correct. But read it. I want to hear you. Leala, please. He often get here in the morning. It's correct. All right. And let's go with number five, Sandrita. Read it and tell me the answer. You listen to me hardly ever. In chorus. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Let's submit. Hey, interesting that you don't have sometimes over here. Ah, oh, yeah, you do have one. Okay, let's submit. And there you go. What happened with this one? With this one, you are able to use it uh, before the subject, right? No, you have the subject over here, they. They usually study English at night. So remember the structure says that you need to have the subject at the beginning of the advert of frequency. So there you go. Those are the correct ones. Maybe you already finished the midterm exam, maybe not. So this is not the midterm exam, the final exam, all right? So this will be pretty useful for you. Let's go with choose the correct meaning of WH question words. <clears throat> Orlando Echeverria, please tell me the instructions. Hi, Miss. Hello. Uh, instructions. Instructions. Uh, go over the question words. Uh, go over the WH question words. What do they mean? Choose the best meaning. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Realize las preguntas con WH. Mm -hmm. 
uh, qué significa cada una, escoja el mejor significado. All right, excellent. Thank you, y'all. Let's see, uh, what about who, Azucena? When we use who, are we talking about time, place, people, choice, things, or objects? Hello, Azucena, are you there? Yes, Miss, I'm here. <laughs> okay, tell me. Okay, who? Who is a uh, people? That's correct, excellent, really good, thank you. It's for people. Mm -hmm. What about number two, where, Fabiola? Y es que usted me pregunta lo que está sintiendo, pero como que me gustaba más el otro. Eh, es para place. Ah? Place. Place. Ok, thank you. Number three, Pamela. When? Um, time. Uh -huh. Excellent. Eh, Regina, number four. Which? Which? Um... Choice. Excellent, thank you. And what? Let me see in Francisco. What? And the auction, the final thing or object. All right, thank you, Francisco. Let me check. All right, y'all, those are the correct ones. Very good. Interesting. If you were uh, in last course, you know that we learned them step by step, right? I was explaining you when do we use who, for what things do we use where, okay? So it's great that now you handle this. And I'm hoping that you do know how to handle this, right? So let's go to the next one. Use the correct use of can or can't. And let me see, we have the instructions. Pamela, please tell me the instructions. Um, read the following sentence choice. Either can or can't just tip the word in no capital letter or eh, ¿cómo se pronuncia? ¿Cómo? Period. Period net. Need it. There you go, thank you. So, I'm very hungry. I, let me see, um, Regina, ajá, Regina. Por metiche, me va mal. No, no sea eso, para que practique yo. Sí, no, no, está bien, a mí me, a mí me gusta, teacher, no me sí, molesta. Sí, me <risa> Es que yo activé el micrófono. Y usted viendo la novela, Regina, y yo aquí interrumpiéndola. No. Let's Vaya, see. Es, I, I'm very, I am very hungry. I can eat everything right now. Ok, excelente. Let me check. All right. Thank you, Regina. Esmeralda del Rosario, number two. A Chira. Usted también, ¿verdad, Miss? <laughs> ¿Usted qué estaba hablando? No, just kidding, Miss Fernanda. <laughs> miss, what is the meaning shet, shetad o shetad? Mira, no. es, un, es un animal, es, bueno, es, chit, es la chita. <laughs> Así se le conoce en español. Sí, es chita. <laughs> es, es literal, es, eso es una chita, right? Se parece okay. a leopardo. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly, that's correct. Ken. Ken, ok. Thank you. Let's go with number three. <laughs> Ronnie, please help me with number three. Maria. Hey, Maria, can you help? Can you help me? Excellent, thank you. Estreberto Reyes, number four. I kind of mean homework is too difficult. All right, excellent. And the last one, let me check. Uh, Miguel Morales, please. Uh, Abby. Uh, 
Uh, Abby, can dive a car. All right, excellent. A baby, I'm sorry, yo leyendo Abby. <laughs> All right, excellent, Miguel, thank you. A baby <laughs> can drive a car. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Whoa, what happened over here? Let me check. Can't. Ah, the apostrophe. It's different. Y en la última dije can. Con negativo. Pero can't. All right. Let me check. Yeah, but this one is because of the apostrophe. Esta es también solo por el apostrophe. All right. Let's submit. And there you go. All right, y'all. I was taking too much time. Um, we are already finished with this class. And I will see you tomorrow, right? Please do not miss tomorrow's class. Tenemos algunos temitas que hay que practicar los más, all right? I will see you tomorrow. Yes, bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye, teacher. You're welcome. Bye. Have a great night. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye, bye teacher. Bye, thank you. teacher. Bye. bye.